I'm assuming that you cannot hear my heart beating in my throat, right? <laughs> My name is uh, Lisa M. Salyers. There are two Lisa Salyers here today, and, and I'm not the pretty blonde. <laughs> I am uh, here today representing our preschool. I'm a preschool teacher in Johnson County. Uh, I work at Little Light Academy. I'm the director and the lead teacher there. This is our second year, and we're truly, truly excited about this program. Uh, we have 16 students as of right now. Uh, we also have uh, plans to grow and uh, move into our Family Life Center within the uh, next couple of months. What we wrote our grant for was the multi-touch table, which is amazing. If Does anyone in here have that in her classrooms? No. It is great for preschoolers because it is set for them. Uh, great height. Uh, you can download, I think it's like 275 apps that you can have that can do interaction with cognitive learning. It's amazing. Um, something that was impressive to me was that you can take the alphabet and you can slide it across the table. And the kids are going to love that. They like to slide anything. So uh, it was, uh, this grant was written to uh, increase language and uh, cognitive, uh, social and language skills. It also helps with uh, cooperation. They work together a whole lot better. We're going to harden them up and we're going to do it in groups and then that way they'll learn. We're going to start by teaching them, showing them hands-on, working that way. Toward the end of the year, if we're successful, they'll be doing it by themselves. Um, have a tidbit of information. It also increases their technology. Something with preschoolers and young children and any kind of grade school kids, they think that Technology will isolate the child because you see them playing on their iPads or doing their games and everything. This will help them to work together. They'll partner, they'll work as small groups. So we, we hope that this will help with that. Uh, children who struggle with self-control as preschoolers are three times likely to have problems as young adults. And you all see this in your classrooms and you can even pick out kids that have grown and went on. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs> 